the success of the company has been you know, really exciting and really consistent over time. So for 23 years, um, we've been a profitable company for 24 years, which I think pencils out to about 96 straight quarters of profitability. It's a tremendous accomplishment when you think back on that date. We have about a $3 billion run rate today, and we're continuing to sort of you know, grow at this sort of accelerated pace. Big Twin system, this is the 2U 4 no system. Obviously, uh, 2U means that it's a 2U height enclosure, okay, which can support a four hot swappable node inside, of, in, uh, inside this box. In this one new space, we're putting a petabyte of data. On the sides here, we have see it, eight Stan. drives coming out of the side. So side access is the real key. We have eight drives on this side, eight drives on this side, and then we have a whole nother tray over here of another 16. So that gives us 32 drives, and probably next year we'll have 32 terabyte drives. The 45 bay really is uh, is very powerful compute, very similar to what we have in, in the uh, the big twin architecture, 24 DIMM, dual processor, you know, any sort of I.O. Uh, you need in this box. It basically can do all kinds of different processes, and it is really designed for um, um, tiered storage because on top of the 45 3.5 inch drives we actually have it, should, it supports six NVMe drives so you can get that that tier of NVMe you could take 2.5 inch SAS or SATA SSDs and put them in that for uh, in those uh, 3.5 inch bays and so you essentially could get three tiers of storage in this one box in 10 years only 8% of the drives die so why, why do we need to change the drive so if a network port technology is not changing, why do you need to change the cable? The power supplies are 98% efficient. Why do I need to change all these fans and all these power supplies and other stuff? There is no reason to do it. If I'm going for a $10 million capital, now, if I just change the whole motherboard but kept the chassis, I, asked, I need to ask for $8.3 million. Okay, I still need to save 1, $1.7 million. Now, when I am to upgrade, it's only cost $5.6 million to upgrade. Where the value is, where the light bulb is. Not in all the, all the cables and other stuff which I don't need to change. So that's the concept of completely revolutionizing that. So this is the single socket, this aggregated server. So this motherboard, the final version, can be separated into four different pieces. That means that, for example, you can change the, the storage part, or you can change this part to put in the PCI, uh, G, uh, PCIe card, or you can have a M.2 card, so it's highly flexible. So that means that you can save a lot of cost in terms of refresh cycles. So it's great for the uh, data center customers. Most of our system, when you compare with our other uh, competitors, you can easily find our system are 5% to 25% consume less power. Intel already introduced a next generation called Ruler. And our Ruler product will be ready to ship just next month. So lots of people say, Charles, you should move, shift most of the production to our show. I say, but the local demand is still so strong. That's why we continue to grow our capacity in Silicon Valley quickly. When you see the traditional growth of IT in the market at three or four percent, and then you look at a company like Supermicro growing at 30, 40 percent a year, um, it's really phenomenal.